In the 20th century, racial terror shaped daily life for racial and ethnic minorities in every U.S. state. In addition to lynchings, thousands were victims of racially motivated homicides and police shootings, as well as church bombings, cross burnings, police brutality, and banishment from communities. Generations of families have waited for justice. The family of Austin Calloway, a 16-year-old lynched in Georgia in 1940, waited 76 years for an official apology. The families of Jesus Bazan and Antonio Longoria, murdered by a posse including Texas State Police in 1915, waited over a century for state recognition of the tragedy. Countless more families are still waiting. Today, this legacy of violence lives on, shaping American culture, institutions, policies, and fates. And yet the full scope of this violence and the widespread historical trauma is still unknown. Ongoing recovery and redress efforts show the possibilities of truth-telling and racial healing. The project Confronting Racist Violence brings together scholars and community members to build the first national record of racist violence. Led by a team of legal, sociology, and history experts who have recovered pieces of this history, the project helps scale ongoing recovery efforts and to develop racial redress projects. This bold national initiative is needed to shine a brighter light on injustice, to promote racial healing, and create a more equitable future.